Howdy everyone. I'm working on getting this uh, interior installed and I wanted to show you some things that I've uh, discovered along the way so far. So I know this is a bad shot but this is from the top of the fuselage looking straight down. This is the firewall here. So I'm just looking straight down into the uh, footwell if you want to call it that of the uh, airplane. This is my center console these are the two black, the thick black pads that I was talking about that um, had the cutouts in them. So I know the lighting is horrible, but you can see the cutout right here to go around. Like I said, that's the uh, fuel vent line. So there's the cutout for that. <clears throat> I also have this this wire right here. This is coax cable for an antenna. I have an antenna a few inches back from the fuel vent. So I'm going to have to add a hole to the pad, to the carpet padding for that antenna. And I got I have to do the same thing on the other side over there because I have an antenna over there as well. But the, uh, the pads just fit between the center console and, of course, the, the wall, the side of the fuselage. And this seam right here is where the stringer is. Yeah, I've added uh, blue painter's tape across the Velcro because when you go to fit the actual carpet, it gets anywhere near that Velcro, it, it immediately attaches itself. And it's really annoying. So I just went ahead and put blue painter's tape on there temporarily so I can get the carpet in and out. Um, this, I'm going to switch positions here. So here's another angle. Of course, those are the rudder pedals up front. And I don't know if you can still see it, but the cutout is over here. And there's a little notch up in this corner as well to clear a bracket that's up here. <clears throat> So everything seems to be fine. Um, this piece here fits in really nice. I ever so slightly had to kind of push it down. So it's kind of wedged in here really nice. This piece is really bad. This piece here, I mean, you can see it just has a lot of room. It has, it's probably cut, especially down in this corner. Down in this corner here, it's probably cut... A good three eighths of an inch too narrow. If it was three uh, eight three eighths of an inch wider, it would fit a lot better. So I'm not a fan of that. And there's plenty of play fore and aft as well, which is fine. Um, like I said, these are just basically spacers to fill this in, so you can get your carpet to lay nice and flat. And these do get velcroed to the actual floor, like I talked about before. But since this is just a temporary install, I'm not going to put the Velcro in yet. I'm not going to drill the holes that I just talked about. i got to add two holes. I'll do that at a later time. Um, so that's fine. Over there, of course, is the other side. Same thing. This panel here closest to the console. That was a really tight fit. This particular panel I had to cut like another quarter of an inch off. And now it wedges itself down in there really nice like this piece does. The outside piece, this one, is just like this outside piece, although it's not as bad. This one is really, this one has a lot of room to roam. That one does as well, but not quite as much. So, and again, the blue tape to keep the carpet from sticking. So... Just something to consider when you go to put yours in. It probably won't be an exact perfect fit, but that's to be expected because um, the planes, I would imagine, are all slightly different. They all have slight variations in construction, potentially. Who knows? Maybe the person that cut these was having a bad day. I don't know. Not that critical. So I'm going to fit the carpet in here next. I'm going to move on to the seats and whatever else I can get fitted uh, just just a mock-up to make sure that things are at least relatively close. I'll do the final install someday later, probably months if not years down the road. All right, be back in a second. Howdy everyone. 
So here it is. This is the uh, initial install of the interior. Nothing is Velcroed in place. Nothing is screwed into place. This is literally just laying in here. The seats have not been adjusted. The seat backs have not been adjusted. I basically just threw these in and um, hopped in. My wife and I hopped in real quick just to get a feel for things. But like I said, nothing is going to be permanent because... With all the work I still have to do, I don't want the interior in the airplane. It's just going to get dusty at a minimum and, you know, potentially stained or worse. So after I get a couple pictures and shoot a video, I'm going to go ahead and pull everything out. I'm going to put everything back in the shipping boxes that I received them in. And then I'm just going to store them until it comes time to actually do the final permanent installation. And I'll, of course, I'll videotape that when I get there. But anywho, this is just to give you a, a quick idea of what things will look like. Of course, the dash panel you have seen before. You can see the carpet is temporarily in place. And of course, the seats. I got this. The boots are just laying in there. They're not attached at all. And then the seats themselves. And that's about it. Really not much to talk about. Oh, the armrests. Those are just laying in there as well. Not a, not a whole lot more to talk about. Like I said, things are just thrown in temporarily. When the time comes for a permanent install, I'll have more to talk about. So anywho, that's going to be it for the interior for now. I'm going to go back to my, uh, my engine videos and pick those up from where we left off. So, that's that. I will talk to you guys later. Howdy everyone. I've decided to go ahead and keep working on this front pad carpet area. I was originally going to just do a dry basic fit to make sure that everything was close and then I was going to pack up everything and put it away until a later date. But um, I decided that it's going to be a lot easier to fool with it now with the wings off and with all of the front structures still open. I can reach down between things easier. I can stand right up against a fuselage instead of trying to work on or around a wing, things like that. So I've decided I might as well just go ahead and continue on. Uh, based, I'm not going to permanently attach anything, but I want to get everything trimmed and fitted correctly. So all I've been doing is I've been fooling with this piece here and I've cut it a lot thinner. So I've, I've cut this edge back. That way the carpet can go past the edge and kind of tuck underneath this angle piece that runs along here. The carpet will actually tuck up underneath that a little bit. So in order to allow the carpet to go down in here, I had to cut this edge of the foam back out of the way. <clears throat> and then I don't know if, how well it will show, but if you look underneath the rudder pedal right here, that is uh, one of my antenna connections that comes up through the floor. And I've got um, the hole cut in the foam to uh, clear that. So now I have to fit the carpet I don't know if I'm going to do anything with this piece here. I might. I'm not there yet. But once I get these pieces figured out and completed, then I can fit the carpet. And I'll have to put a hole in the carpet for that antenna line there. And just make sure I can get everything to fit. At that point, I may attach the pads to the carpet. But of course, I'm not going to permanently attach the pads to the airplane. It's, nothing's permanent. It's all Velcro but I may attach the pads to the carpet and leave that as one piece and then worry about attaching the pads to the aircraft at a later date. I just want to get everything trimmed and fitted. Once I get this side done, I'll do the passenger side. And I think that might be it. I'm not going to worry about installing the armrests. I'm not going to worry about leaving the seats in. Those are obviously going to come out. I'm going to be, uh, I'm not going to have the harnesses or anything attached. Everything's going to come back out. Um, I am going to leave the seats in place for now momentarily because I'm going to work on 
this stick. I'm going to cut this stick down a little bit so I can get my, uh, my uh, stick grip on and get this uh, autopilot. No, this is push to talk. Get my push to talk switch connected and things like that. So modifying pads, modifying carpet. What comes after that? I'm not sure. Maybe the stick. All right. I'll talk to you guys later.